Hey, good morning, Ipsitos Our Models here. What about I get for you today is a... <laughs> it's a really quite big and expensive plane. This is the new Power Modelism Firebird Jet. This is an old RC plane. The new Power Modelism make. It's from uh, 2009 or 2010, I don't know. But but in my uh, city still, there's someone still... Uh, still sell it so i gonna buy it for about 130 dollar on the kit only so i want to see you everything what what is inside the new power modelism firebird jet this is the canopy you must cut it by yourself so what is inside is this receiver i gonna use my flash guy this is the battery strap the battery I gonna use is a uh, 6S22000, but on on this review I gonna use a uh, 5S19000. Uh, I mean 1900. And this is the servo. The servo is connect. This is the uh, not servo, but the new landing gear is connected to the servo this way, as you can see. And this is the other servo, but. But I not I'm not gonna use any servo for the engine because I have an electric motor there. So this is a place for gyro. My I gonna use a Hobby Eagle A3 Pro gyro detachable. And the aileron servo here. Two aileron servo. One elevator servo there. And no rider. I'm not gonna use rudder. By the way, this is the slot for the rudder. It's just only one here. There's there's nothing on the other vertical stabilizer, so it's just one in only in left side. Okay, so the servo I use in this in this model is an MD two thousand. I mean MD two hundred. This is a, a twenty gram servo. But this plane recommended to use a 25 gram servo, but it's already rare enough in my country. So I just use 20 gram servo to save some weight. And the motor here is a restless motor of Sunny Sky 2820, uh, 800 kV. This is the 10x6 gas nitro propeller. Why I'm not I'm not using electric propeller because electric propeller creates some drag on this aircraft, on this model. So that's why I must use a uh, nitro or gasoline propeller. Anyways, the mot the motor mounting has some cover here, but I'm not use it because my motor is not long enough, and also I want to save some weight also. Okay, so let's. Get my 5S here and turn on, turn everything on. All right. Okay, so I already plug here. This is the battery of 5S 19,000, but on the flight I'm gonna use the 6S 2200. Okay, so let's test is the elevator. I have to limit the throws because my servo arm cannot cannot get in the in the max throws here elevator aileron landing gears i'm not using rudder throttle is very powerful okay so let's talk about mo talk more and this is the the slide lock but the slide lock is very difficult to install so I just use rubber band to uh, to close the canopy and this is the place if you want to uh, detach or attach the elevator servo or your AC you can see inside let's open it ah, sorry it's quite difficult Here, I'm gonna use a 60M ASC here. The ZWB tools. 
and this place is for servo, spar, and every wire that, that wire into the elevator and the ailerons. Anyways, the elevator's cable I place outside because it's quite difficult to pl place inside. Okay, so let's close it. Okay, so there's enough for the review, so let's see the maiden flight I get. Okay, let's go. Star. Okay, thank you for watching.